Anyways, as we said, the fuel of the universe is deuterium. You cannot work without the deuterium. And the reason for it is, it has the energy balance enough to create, to keep a weaker imposition of the two, but in juggling between the two, it releases this energy, which if you know how to capture that energy, it becomes the fuel of the space. In so many ways, we have to understand how we fuel it. What's the reason behind the fueling? And if you take and understand the work of deuterium, then you understand the CH3, which you've been relying on so heavily for energy, is a carbon, a hydrogen, and a deuterium. But your problem is, how to lock up these two, that you can use this for a space technology. We understand, John? Where is Armin? He's gonna shoot him somebody. It's okay. When we explain the release of production of CH3, all of you looked, and you heard it yesterday, Dr. Rodrigo says, you don't use CH3 in cancer cases because it gives energy to the cancer. But the way you created the CH3 from the interaction of nano-coated copper and a galvanized element, which is due to galvanization, carries different properties, as we explained yesterday, in the center is iron, outside is mainly zinc and nickel. So that space allows you to create the CH3. There's a small trick. Peter, are you listening? You should be able to know what I'm talking about. In placing a condition in this chap here, you'll be creating deuterium beyond the imagination of the man when you engage the two to something else. But understand is the plasma. Hands up. You want me to put it on the mic? You want me to put it on my nose? So what you get is this piece. As I said before, we are in a fast track to become man of a space. So for two, three years, you lot have been playing with CH3. 